Hello everyone. I would like to show you how I make the car, the motor sound for my car game. I'm using Audacity to synthesize the sound. Um, we need uh, three um, sine waves, <coughs> um, two sine waves are uh, mixed together to um, uh, create the off sound. The off sound is uh, when you release the accelerator and uh, all three um, sine waves are mixed together uh, and that is the on sound that is when you um, uh, press the accelerator. <coughs> um, when, um, when you later look at the uh, Audacity project um, you might have forgot, forgotten uh, which frequencies you were using um, so you can use the uh, built-in frequency analyzer to check which frequencies you were uh, actually using. Um, so this is the um, mixed uh, sound for the off um, sound. Select the uh, the um, the sound and uh, export it as a wave file. We can um, save the Audacity project. As a file name we choose Chrysler because uh, the car in our game will be a uh, Chrysler. <coughs> so now let's uh, select all three frequencies and uh, mix them uh, as the on sound. So now let's uh, start Godot and um, I have a project already prepared. This project already has some sound but uh, we will replace it with the new sounds that we just created. Just drag and drop the two files and uh, start the game. Now we can uh, add some effects to some uh, frequencies, for example amplitude modulation. Let's see if that makes a difference.
one thing I want to show you is um, when you import the sounds for the first time there's uh, something you should be aware of when um, importing the sounds. Um, so let's uh, delete the sounds so that we have a state when, when you first um, create your sounds. <coughs> so they are now newly imported. And uh, now we have to assign them to our audio player 3D. Lastly, I want to show you something, <coughs> something else. Um, you can set the camera by clicking on the camera node and then perspective and then align transform with view. Uh, I think that is a pretty easy way to, okay, uh, to, to set the camera. <coughs> 